Hey guys, this is John from podcastforthewind.com and today we're going to take a look at EA Access Hub and the EA Access Hub Vault. So let's just go ahead and look in here. Uh, so we'll just go to the main screen which we have. Okay, so they basically display a lot of the games that are coming out from EA. Uh, and as you know, they, they, uh, they are basically, uh, they bring you games like Battlefield, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Dragon Age. But uh, all that aside right now, let's take a look at the, the vault. Now this is a monthly or yearly subscription based uh, service, but one of the good things about this is is that you can actually access these games for free as long as you're signed up and subscribed to the uh, service. So as you can see here, the most recently added is Dragon Age, uh, and then you have your uh, all your previous games from the last year, which is the current year we're in right now, but they're giving them away for free right now, mainly because they're going to be releasing these games or have released the games uh, for the current year. So like NBA Live 2015 is already in the vault because NBA Live 2016 may already just be coming out or is available. Uh, so you have FIFA 15, NHL 15, which is one of my favorite games, uh, NFL uh, Madden 15, uh, UFC, uh, Titanfall, which is I think is a pretty big deal that they're giving this one away for free. Uh, of course, Garden Warfare, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, um, Pebble 2, no idea what that game is, uh, Battlefield 4, it's a very popular, uh, successful game. Uh, now, this is just the core game, of course, you're going to still have to pay for the... Uh, the the uh, the demo or the um, downloadable content. Uh, you have FIFA 14, Madden 25, and then of course Need for Speed. Now those are the only games currently available in the vault. But what EA Access has been telling us is that they're going to actually be adding more games to the vault. Now one thing I have noticed is they have not taken anything out of the vault. Uh, even if it's a success, uh, like a successful game and has uh, good sales, that is something they could base the uh, the uh, vault off of if it's really popular and people are purchasing it why would you give it away for free well that's actually one of the reasons you would subscribe to this it makes it a little bit uh, it makes it a little bit easier to access those games and it's more fun to be able to get them for free of course so if you're looking forward to buying the latest version of say uh, Madden or the latest version of NBA maybe FIFA or NHL why not play the other version for free for a year or depending on how long it's in the vault uh, before you get the new version and so I'm looking forward to all the new games coming out not not only that, but you actually get uh, some benefits here. Let's see if they show you in here. So yeah, if you buy games through EA Access, you can save up to 10% off. Uh, you can play them first, so you actually get them sometimes uh, a week or more before the game is officially released. And that's a huge upside. That's a seller for me. So ladies and gentlemen, I would recommend this for sure. If you're a, if you're a gamer and you're using the Xbox One, I definitely recommend EA Access. I believe it is only available for the Xbox One. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I will talk to you next time. Bye for now.